In this video, I'm going to show you a feature of the Smart Fishing Spots app that's something that's really important, but not everybody understands how to read it, and that is going to be the tide charts. And by the end of this video, I hope that you're going to be able to have the information that you need to be able to understand it a lot better if you don't know how to already. So let's go to the map and we'll get right into it. So we're going to go ahead and click on, this is the Smart Fishing Spots app here, and where we're going to find that tide chart is going to be right here on this button, the Tides and Weather button. We're going to click on that, and then you're going to see a pop-up window come up. There's a lot of information here, but what we're really interested in in this video is going to be this white line right here. And what that white line does is it indicates what the tide is doing at any given point. And what we need to do is take a look at the line and see what it's doing. As that line is going in an upward direction, that means you're having an incoming or a rising tide. So a rising line indicates a rising tide. And if you hover over that blue dot, you can actually see how much water has moved in above average low tide. And then just past that blue marker, you're going to see that line that's going to start falling. That's indicating a falling tide or an outgoing tide. And you can see that goes all the way to right here to this next blue marker. And that's going to show you how much water is there over average low tide. And this continues on. And this is how you read a tide chart. The easiest way to remember this is on a rising line, you're going to have a rising or an incoming tide. On a falling line, you're going to have an outgoing or a falling tide. Now, people are going to use this information in different ways. The two most common ways that they're going to be using this information is going to be determining what the tide is doing if they have to fish at a certain time. So say, for instance, we're going to fish first thing in the morning. And if we look at the chart right here, we notice there's a little dark area and then it's a little bit lighter. That line indicates daybreak. So say we're going to be fishing right at daybreak and we can look at this and we can see that we're going to be dealing with an outgoing tide so we can make our plans accordingly. But the other way that we can use this information is if we are wanting to fish a certain time of the tide cycle, let's say we want to fish that last third of an outgoing tide, then we can look at our tide chart and see that the last third of that outgoing tide is going to be from those hours from about three o'clock to about seven o'clock right around there. And that way we can plan our trip that way. Now one thing that the Smart Fishing Spots app does that some others don't do is a lot of times you have to find those tide stations. So if you notice right here, we've got a red flag. This indicates the tide station that this information is being pulled from. As we move this map around, you're going to start seeing other red flags pop up and then the information changes because it's pulling from a different tide station. You don't have to find the actual tide station. All you have to do is center that map to the area that you want to fish and it's going to automatically find the nearest tide station so you you don't have to guess which one it is. Now I am doing this at my house on my computer, but if you're on the water and using your phone, it looks identical. The same features work the exact same way. So you can see exactly where you're at and what tide station that it's gonna be nearby and what the tides are doing. So the phone and the computer look the same. Now when it comes to pre-planning some trips that are further ahead, we actually have these days that are marked. You can click on each one of these days and you can see the tide chart comes up. And if you click down here on this little bouncing arrow, that's gonna bring up as much as two weeks out. So you can plan some trips based off the of two weeks out on your tides. So that's a really helpful feature if you're trying to figure out what's going to happen further on down the road. But each one of these days, it will automatically populate the day that you want. Now with the tide information, we also have other information that's in this window. We've got an overall view of the weather. Then we've got hourly views of the weather. So you can see what the wind is doing and what the uh, chances of rain are doing. And then also uh, what the moon phase is. And these are all helpful things when it comes to planning your trip. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many other features uh, that is available on the Smart Fishing Spots app. Now, if you are interested in trying out the Smart Fishing Spots app, it is available in both the Android Play Store and also the Apple App Store, and it is available at saltstrong.com. So make sure and check that out. This really is something that's going to help you out tremendously when it comes to your fishing game. And if there's any other questions you might have, go ahead and put those down in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, I really do appreciate you watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.